Yeah, so I'm feeling super unmotivated uh, to do this, but it doesn't matter, gotta do it anyway. It's because I need this space to create. So take a good look at the disaster. You can see, I'll show you. It's a bunch of stuff that has been a catch-all for some time. This is my folding table. Yeah, not doing much folding there. So, this is what it looks like now. I will show you what it looks like when I am finished. So, here you go. And here it is. Rewind seven hours. Still here trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this, but you're about to see this place transform because that's what I'm on a mission to do. So I'm gonna begin by cleaning up the basement. Where do I start? Uh... You see about 10 seconds into it is when I'll usually get overwhelmed and be like, well, there's something else I can do instead today. Maybe it's more important, but not today. Today, I'm just going to buckle down and get her done. Yeah, and always remember to get clear totes when you uh, organize your storage in your basement because the black totes seem like a good idea until you forget what's in them and you don't label things and so you're wondering, what's in the totes? I don't know, so now I have to look through every one of them. Sesame Street books from teaching English to a Buddhist monk. Uh, Kikianga, 1998-99. Oh, my middle school yearbook. Oh. Let's see if I can open right up to my page. There I am. Ooh, yes, very important. A CD Walkman. This is very useful these days. Uh, not. That'll go to Goodwill. Ooh. Uh, for my cowboy boots. Uh, the Cedarwood uh, boot stretcher from Boot Barn. Yeah. That's a must for the season. Other than that, it looks like a lot of How do I keep so much stuff? This is the old me. This is the old me that would keep everything because I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I'll need this. Maybe there will come a time when I'll need this receipt from Home Depot for four years ago. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe I do need this one, actually. Huh. That's where that receipt went. Well, okay, I guess I do need that. Uh, or did, but it's over with now, so. Into the trash you go. Into the drive. This is how you have to get rid of things. You just pick up handfuls of it, put it directly into the trash. Doesn't matter what it is. You just gotta throw it into the trash. There comes a top. Oh yes, order form? Yes, trash. Oh, container? Oh no, my mom likes to save containers, so. Hmm. Oh. 
Let's see, I have another one to go through, many, many more to go through, but as you can see, it's getting cleaner. Very soon, this will be a workable shop. The basement's looking good, but it is time for some tea. Yes, tea time is the best time. I learned this from the Buddhist monks. Oh. Yeah, so, that basement work is exhausting. Yeah, I'm starting to get worn out. And I've only been out for four hours now. So, what do I do? I make a strong cup of tea. The yogi tea, with all the spices. Fresh, of course. I'll show you. Here, check it out. Ginger. Put the ginger in the pot. Cinnamon bark. Black peppercorns. Whole cloves. Whole cardamom pods. Water. Fire. And time. How much time? Ten minutes. When you make this tea, it's important to use the freshest ingredients possible. Yeah? The ginger, always fresh, organic of course, everything organic. And the pepper, all of it works together to create a very uplifting and mood enhancing uh, effect. Black tea. Tea is done, it's been 10 minutes. Now. Delicious. Tea is made. Back downstairs we go. Better than before. It is well on its way. Now I'm gonna clean up that pile over there and try to get a functioning folding table. Uh, that's something I'll wear. Yes. Oh boy. Piles of old laundry. Not fun but you gotta do it, eventually. That time is now. I've been realizing as this day is going on that there comes a time when you just have to clean house. What no longer serves its purpose simply has to go. There is no space for it. Things come and go, but it's the vision, the ideal, that must live on. All day, it took me six, seven hours, 
but here it is. My vision has been realized, the goal has been, well, it's begun.